feel to be a professional baseball player. It's pretty good. I mean, we're, it's a dream come true, for sure. No, I mean, it's, it's pretty awesome. I mean, some, all three of us, I'm sure, have all worked for the ability to be able to finally accomplish that. I mean, it's, it's a blessing. So it feels uh, definitely a dream come true. Uh, put a bunch of hours into the game and just see it all kind of fall into play is awesome. I have not, I have not been here before. Yeah, that's my, my second time. I, I came when I was younger, Cooperstown, the, the tournament up in New York. So this is my, my second time. First time in New York City, though? Uh, yeah, pretty yeah. good. First time in the city is pretty awesome. <laughs> what have you done so far? Um, walked around Times Square, gone to get a bunch of pizza, a bunch of Italian food, so best food I've had in a very long time. I mean, last night we just went, went walking around, around Times Square, um, just went to the Hard Rock, uh, something quick. Um, but I think we're going to go walk around and probably get pizza tonight. Uh, I, uh, pizza was the first meal I had here, how to get a, a New York slice, so that was something cool. Um, I, my family and I went to Times Square yesterday, and that, that was pretty much it. But how was the pizza? Huh? How was the pizza? It's amazing. <laughs> Where'd you get it from, do you remember? Uh, I, I don't know, there's so, many, there's so many places, you can't go wrong, so. I've been to Joe's Pizza three times so far, so <laughs> it's pretty good. That's a good call. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I met uh, Francisco uh, Lindor yesterday, which was really cool. He's obviously someone I, I look up to. Um, Jeff McNeil I met yesterday. And it's really cool to kind of pick their brains about you know, baseball and the, the process. So it's, it's been really fun. I haven't met anyone yet, but I mean, I'm looking forward to it. So same here, looking forward to meeting some, some big leaguers. Who do you want to meet? Uh, probably Francisco Lindor, McNeil, two middle infielders. You know, it's funny how the world works. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, I mean, drafted last year by the Mets. I mean, things didn't work out. Uh, I'm not going to get into the detail about that. Uh, went back to school, bet on myself, and ended up back here again. Um, so uh, apparently, God, God's got a plan for me here. So we'll see what that is. For them to kind of bet on me twice, I mean, that, that says a lot. Uh, they obviously see something in me. Um, so I mean, I'm, I'm ready to get to work and see what see what they can do. Who's your favorite baseball player? Besides yourselves and each other, <laughs> I I don't have one. I don't have one. Really? On, yeah, I actually don't have one, honestly. Wow. Uh, yeah. I've never gotten that answer before. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have one. Yep. Who do you model your game after? Uh, no one, honestly. Um, yeah. You know, people ask that question all the time, um, but for me, it's it's me. It's, it's nobody. I mean, I'm myself for a reason. So I mean, why would I model some after somebody else? I'm just gonna be myself. Uh, I don't. I don't know really. Got a favorite baseball player. I mean, I, I've watched obviously Francisco. Obviously, he's amazing in the infield. Is someone to try to model myself after. Um, sure. But you know, I can't really. I don't know if I can name a specific player. Just you know, look up to a lot of guys. So just try to be the best player I can be. Do you see yourself as a shortstop long term? I think I can definitely stick there. Um, you know, I just got to get bigger, stronger, faster, obviously. And um, but I do think I can stick there long term for sure. Um, I would say don't really have a favorite guy, but I enjoy watching like Xander Bogarts and Lindor play. Just looks like they're having fun all the time out there. So it's kind of how I model my game is just having fun every minute I'm on the field.